We are making huge investments to transform mental health services for the communities we serve across South West London. At any one time, our teams care for 20,000 people in their own homes, in a range of community settings, and in our hospitals too. I am so privileged to be the Chief Executive of South West London and St George's. This trust has been part of my life for the last 24 years. I trained here as a nurse and the only reason I get out of bed in the morning is to make things better for people with mental health conditions in South West London and the communities that we serve. We have been doing some really thoughtful work over a number of years around ensuring that our services are embedded in the communities and to be really proactive in the space so that we're actively anti-racist and promoting mental health awareness. Our commitment is to employ the most diverse workforce, ensuring that people feel comfortable and safe to bring their whole self to work, to care and to treatment. Our trust mission is making life better together and we are dedicated to working with our patients, carers, staff and communities to help achieve this. I received 18 months worth of intense psychotherapy treatment at the Complex Needs um, Department of the Trust. The treatment was very beneficial, the team were great, they supported me throughout the whole process. When it was coming up to being discharged from the treatment I was receiving, I was offered a role to be on the interview panel for the Complex Needs. They also referred me to the Education and Employment Department at the Trust where I was able to take up a open university course in psychology. We have a number of different community services in the area, one of which is Talking Therapies. Talking Therapies is typically available to people struggling with anxiety, depression, low mood, under high levels of stress, etc. This is done through a lot of one-to-one -one work, but it's not solely done through that. It's also done through group workshops online, in person, so say in the community, etc. as well. Talking therapies are important because they provide people with the tools that they need in order to proactively look after their own mental health and the others around them so that their situation doesn't turn from something that's a little bit of smoke into a full-blown fire. The people make our trust the most special place to work, whether it's our service users and carers, whether it's our frontline staff, everybody contributes to making the organisation the very best place to receive care and treatment, but also to work and to enjoy and be fully who you are. The most powerful thing, the clinicians that worked alongside us in our journey, was that they held the hope that my loved one wouldn't always be in this place and would take steps towards recovery. And when I had lost hope, they held the hope and they were absolutely right. And I will always value that. Now is a really exciting time for our trust. We are working to revolutionise the services we provide and the environment in which we provide them. We are investing in our services to support people to recover from mental ill health closer to home. And when they do need to visit or stay in hospital, we're transforming our services to be amongst the most modern mental health care facilities in the country. Giving people the best chance to recover, supported by great staff in the best environment for them. Specifically, this is a deaf service for adults with mental health issues. They, they could also have learning difficulties as well, but predominantly it's mental health. It's my role to build up confidence, encouraging them to become independent. We go for walks, we go for cafes. Being deaf myself, I feel that I, my role is a really good role model. I sit and chat that, uh, to the patients, really build up a good rapport with them. So with Stereo Ward, I'm very fortunate to work with highly skilled professionals. These are phenomenal team members. I started off um, as a newly qualified nurse just around less than four years ago, and now I'm a ward manager leading our camps team. So I'm quite proud to work with such a great team. I really enjoy the opportunity to work with like-minded people, to support people and help them on their recovery journey. I'm proud to be part of such an amazing community where people are genuinely committed to making life better together.